What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we battled through all of whatever route we were in, and made it right here into the National Park. And yes, it is Tuesday, so you guys already know what that means. Yes, sir, Bob, it is bug catching time. So, we're gonna do two episodes, two separate episodes of the National Park. One being the bug cast catching contest, and then the next one just a regular, you know, scatter the land of uh, the National Park and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Today's Tuesday. That means it's bug, uh, it, or that means the bug catching contest is on today. The rules are simple. Using one of your Pokemon, catch a bug type Pokemon to be judged. Would you like to give it a try? Yes, I do. Uh oh, you have more than one Pokemon. You'll have to use Fluffolt, the first Pokemon in your party. Is that okay with you? Sure, I needed that Pokemon. Fine, we'll hold your other Pokemon while you compete. Draven's Pokemon were left with the contest helper. Here are the sport balls for the contest. And that's pretty much the equivalent of National or the uh, uh, Safari balls right there. And he's going to be like, the person who catches the strongest bug type Pokemon is the winner. You have 20 minutes. If you run out of sports balls, you're done. You can keep the last Pokemon on, or you can keep the last Pokemon you catch as your own. Go out and catch the strongest bug type Pokemon you can find. Alrighty. I'm rolling up the sleeves right here. Okay, so a few things that you guys need to know when going into this bug catching contest. You are not allowed to heal your Pokemon. If your Pokemon faints, it's the end of the game right there. Uh, if you run out of sports balls, of course, it's the end of the game right there too. And, well, the best way to go about this is that you actually get yourself a Shell Bell before you get to the uh, National Park or to the Bug Catching Contest. That is why I equipped it with Fluff Bolt right here, so if, you know, it gets attacked and beaten up and all that crud, yes, uh, it will heal up by itself and all that stuff. The other thing, too, is that Fluff Bolt does have Thunder Wave right here, so it will be able to actually help me out, especially for those physical attackers right there that, you know, want to attack me. Static, you know, all that stuff. Now, the best thing you can do is capture the best Pokemon, the one with the highest level right there. It's not, it's not always a Scyther, Pinsir, or I don't even think a Heracross is here, but yeah, it's not always those Pokemon that win the bug catching contest. As you can see, we're uh, coming in with a Caterpie, and yeah, that is not really going to cut it right there. Not going to waste my uh, time with with just a Caterpie. Not saying it's, it's, uh, it's important, but... Again, we got to catch here the strongest Pokemon right here. I think in one occasion when I was actually at the National Park right here for Heart Gold and Soul Silver, yeah, I think somebody won with a with a Weedle, and uh, well, that is not the Pokemon I want. Come on, we need to find a very very good Pokemon right here, and uh, well, the level 17 Caterpie. Okay, so. I'm thinking I sh I'm thinking I should capture this Pokemon right here. Plus, it's not super, you know, it's not strong, but of course it does have Bug Bite. And there we go. And yes, we are healing up just a little bit. And here comes that String Shot that, of course, will lower our speed. So let's go and throw a Pokeball at it or a Sport Ball at it. Two, three, and there we go. We cut ourselves a level 17 Caterpie. Technically, that counts as a strong Pokemon. Now, if we find something else, mm, a little bit more rare or stronger or something like that, then we'll think about it. As you can see, here we have a B drill and... Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Okay, so it's attacking us with a Fury attack. And, yeah, do not want that on my conscience right there. Alright, so we're going to continue on, and here we have a level 8 Weedle. Alrighty. Now... If you do win this contest, I think you win yourself a Sunstone. Correct me if I'm wrong if I don't win this, and... Well, here we go with another Weedle. They want to attack me. They see me riding. Okay, here we go. And... There is a level 12 Caterpie again. So that right there is not acceptable, so... we got to find at least a strong, strong Pokemon. Well, we already have the strongest Pokemon that we've seen so far, and that's uh, Caterpie. So let's see what we get, and then, ooh, a level eight, 17 Kakuna! That's another Pokemon that you can actually use, but I've already got my level 17 Pokemon right here. And, well, let's see. Come on! Come on, give me good luck! We got a level 13 Venonat right here. 
Alrighty, let's see what we got. Riding around, level 12 B drill. Okay, alrighty. Let's go, let's keep it going. Keep on moving, see what we get. Let's see, level 14 B drill. This thing keeps on finding me, following, you know, following me. Must have, uh, what you call it, uh, honey on me or something. I don't even know. Alrighty, let's go. And here we have a level 14 Butterfree Pokemon that we get, or we don't have yet. We could easily have now that we have a level 17 Caterpie right here. And here comes a level 16 Kakuna. In all honesty, guys, I'm trying to find Scyther or Pinsir right here to be at a decent level. And right now, I am not finding anybody except for just Beedrills, and this guy is not going to let me go anytime soon. So here we go again. Critical hit. Jeez. Okay, so there we go. Now, that that's only that's the only drawback to my uh, Fluff Vault right here, that it is uh, kind of slow. So going up against Beedrills right here, or Scythers, will actually kind of get it fainted before anything, so that kind of just like a screws me over right there so let's go right ahead and uh, find some more right here okay Lexi come on give me something good level 16 Caterpie okay so there's nothing right there okay come on where can you be kids WB you guys remember that kids WB I grew up with that okay so there we go and here we go again. Let's see what we got. And it's a level 15 Venonat. It's not a, it's not at a bad level. It's just a yeah, well, you know. It's something right there. Okay, alrighty, so let's go ahead and see. Level 18 Kakuna. Okay, so we're gonna try and capture this little bastard right here. And yes. After attacking, I get a little bit of HP. This is hardening. Okay, so let's go with the physical attack, and of course I'm gonna be missing right here. So this guy's defense is gonna be a little bit harder, but it's gonna be easier for me to just like you know lower its, its HP and try and catch it. So here we go, another one, and we keep on healing, but it's not giving me a lot of HP right here. So let's go, another tackle attack, and there we go, just one HP every single time, and. This guy is going to keep on hardening. Really don't think I'm going to... Yeah, I don't think that I... It, yeah, well... Sport ball. Go, I guess. One, two, three. There we go. All right. So we got ourselves a level 18 Kakuna. And here we go. Two feet, 22 pounds. That is a heavy Kakuna. Although it's a, it is a cocoon, it can move a little. It can extend its uh, poison barb if it's attacked. Oh, okay. So that's cool. So technically, this Pokemon is considered a little stronger than, you know, Caterpie, HP-wise and level up. So, yeah, I'm going to be replacing it with, uh, with well, I'm going to be replacing um, C Caterpie with Kakuna and stuff. Can't even talk right now. So let's see what we got right here. Yeah, level 11. So, I don't know if we're gonna, like, I don't know if this is literally 20 minutes. Like, you literally spent 20 minutes trying to look for Pokemon, or... I don't know. And, speak of the devil, we found ourselves a level 15 Metapod right here, and that is really nothing right there, so... We're just gonna continue on right here. Now... Let's see. Got a level 12 Butterfree. I don't know if I'm going to win this contest with just a level 18 uh, Kakuna. I'm thinking that they're going to go with like rarity and then level and all that stuff too, which is kind of like, kind of unfair. But one can always try, right? I guess. I don't know. Come on. Where can you be? Let's see. Let's see. And nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, alrighty, so let's see. Let's go into the longer grass right here. I'm gonna give it a little. I'm gonna give it like three more turns right here, and if I don't find anything. Oh, look at that! A pincer, level 13. Now, this this right here is a bit of a gamble because pincer's at level 13, and I got myself, uh, I got myself a level 18 Kakuna. Now, pincer is pretty rare, especially in this, in the, the neck of the woods right here. 
but the level's not that and wow made it faint that's uh that's just great okay so there's a level up right there level 19 okay so we we, we did somewhat of our part right there it's giving me a little hope that you know maybe i could find some other rare pokemon right now and so far i haven't found anything okay so except for pincer that i made faint oh god Okay, so here we go, another pincer, and I'm going to try and not make it faint right here. And this guy, is a little faster than me. And yes, we are healing up just a little bit more, and this guy will be hardening. So here we go, Thundershock for the wit God dang it. Really, Fluffle? Are you, like, trying to sabotage me or something? Oh, God, you are a jerk. Okay. And here is a bee drill, a very, very good one, but of course we're gonna get attacked. Come on. You are paralyzed, you asshole bee drill. I'm gonna run away. Okay, alright. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it like that because uh the majority of these rare Pokemon, such as Scyther and Pinsir, they're no I, I yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna have to be like really rare to capture a level 17 or 18. Pincer or Scyther, so I'm just gonna gamble and I'm just gonna retire right here. If I lose, I lose. Still got 12 minutes. Yeah, I'm not gonna really spend 12 more minutes just to try and find anything else. So, here it is, the very end of this. And the contest judge is like, We will now judge the Pokemon you've caught. We have chosen the winners. Are you ready for this? Placing third is Camperberry, who caught a right thing bee drill. Okay. The score was 253 points. Placing second is Youngster Samuel, who caught a wriggling Weedle. Man, do they have to come with like some kind of like... I don't know. I don't really don't know. And the score was 263, and the buck catching winner is... Ace Trainer Abby! What the hell? A whopping Paris? See what I mean, guys? Ugh. Well... It's all right. If I well, of course, the winner gets a shed, a shed shell as the cons consolation prize. Or I got it. Or I get a shed shell. I can't even say that right. Okay, so we'll return to the Pokemon that kept her here, and uh, here we go. I'll take part of the book catching fortune in future. No, I do not want to nickname my Pokemon. Okay, so that was pretty much it right there. So everything's gone back to normal, and of course, I'm getting a call from my mama. So. Let's see what Mama has to say. Hello? Oh, hi, Draven. How are you? I found something useful while shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry, but I asked the delivery man to take it to you, so you should stop by the nearest Pokemon or department store to pick it up. I know you'll be, it'll be useful. Okay. Well, whatever. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at this Kakuna that we got. Alrighty, so it's at level 18, and it is Quick Temper, Lonely Nature, of course, and... It has a really high defense and all that stuff, especially with its speed. Shed Skin is its uh, ability. Heal its uh, ability problems or something like that. And, of course, the next level up, it will turn into a Beedrill, which would be pretty awesome right there. So, alrighty. So, that's pretty much it for the Bug Catching Contest. And, uh, well, I'm going to dive deep into this place in the next episode. Because uh, there is also a part 2 to this National Park thing right here. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.